Uh, this is a, a very, very important conference because we are increasingly seeing that human security uh, depends upon the natural world and the environment, and in particular, climate change right now. And so, for example, uh, because of climate change, we're seeing increased drought, we're seeing higher temperatures, we're seeing falling agricultural yields. Uh, we're then seeing all of the consequences of this at the household level, at the community level, and that in turn can lead to migration, it can lead to social breakdown, and it can lead to radicalization. And so there's a lot we don't know yet. We're, we're still very much at the learning stage, but it seems very, very clear indeed that increasingly, whilst climate change doesn't actually cause the conflict, it enables and multiplies the probability that that conflict will take place. It was just uh, maybe eight years ago that the first time that the Security Council of the United Nations considered climate change. Until that stage, climate change had been regarded as nothing to do with global politics or security. And nowadays, it's become increasingly evident that if you care about security, and that means economic security, financial security, and military security, if you care about security, you have to worry about what's going on in climate change. Um, nonetheless, there have been relatively few uh, such conferences, and, and the reason for that is we're only just learning. And that's why this conference is so important, is because it brings from all around the world experts who are researching this, military people who are actually thinking through the security issues, political people, civil society organizations, um, uh, all of whom are sort of struggling with these issues, sharing information and ideas and moving things forward. This conference is already showing that we are getting much better at diagnosing the problem and identifying potential hotspots. For example, the World Resources Institute that I lead is able to project water risk in 15,000 river basins in the world. That enables, in turn, to estimate what will happen to food productivity, what will happen to farmers' incomes, and what will be the chances that that will lead to social breakdown. So that already is important that we're sharing that. What I hope for from this conference and future conferences, because this is the first annual conference, is that we take that kind of insight and others like it, and then we think, okay, so what do we do with that? Well, how do we, how do we uh, run our aid programs differently? How do we do our diplomacy differently? How do we prepare for military? Con uh, uh, what should our migration policy be? So look, taking the increasingly expert diagnosis and then asking what do we do to make the world a better place in the light of it?